It's midnight on a lonely stretch of highway. You take a wrong turn and see a scarecrow walking by and a mummy hitchhiking. You have taken a wrong turn. Welcome to the Fright Way. Yes, ladies and gentlemen, it's the Fright Way. That frightful filled highway of terror. And I really thought my banana was tight tighter than that. I'm the one they call simply the wanderer. As I tell as I review a tale of terror and fear. Sometimes. Sometimes one of the light hearts though. Anyways, shout outs. Yes, yes. Alright, alright. Uh we will be doing a review of the Goosebumps TV, a two-parter that goes next door. But first, I want to give a shout-out to the ones who inspired this. Michael Goosebumps fan, who has covered both the book and the TV episodes. And Metropolis, a good friend of our channel, who has covered just the TV episodes in his Gimme Goosebumps series. Which was the inspiration for The Fright Way. Okay. Now... To begin our tale of terror. Things seemed strange to Hannah ever since the new boy moved next door. The house was empty when she was asleep the night before. So when did they move, when did he move in? And why does the house still seem deserted? She's not getting any answers from the very pale new neighbor who just keeps disappearing. Could he really be the ghost next door? Running time, 66 minutes. This is a two-part episode. Uh, you find out who the ghost really is. I don't want to do any spoilers, but you find... You find out about who the ghost really is in the about the end of the first episode. The second episode primarily tells with stuff not in the book. So I don't want to spoil that part, but uh, from what I've heard. Um, but overall, it's a pretty well done episode. It takes a little, it took a little bit of time for me to get into, uh, but towards the second episode, I was all in. I really enjoyed it. Um, I love that it had a happy ending. Um, so overall, I give this maybe a three out of five. This is the first Goosebumps two-parter that I watched all the way through, and this is my first Goosebumps review. So yeah, three out of five for me. If you guys want to check out other views of The Ghost Next Door, like I said, uh... Michael Goosebumps fan covered the book and TV show, the TV episodes, and then Metropolis for his Give Me Goosebumps series actually covered both part one and two of the TV show. So if you want to know more about it, check out there. And that was my review of Goosebumps, The Ghost Next Door. Let me know guys in the comments below if you guys want to see more of this wanderer persona I've created. I can promise you there's going to be at least two more episodes of The Fright Way. And the Wanderer is going to take a different change of pace, but uh, yes. And also, what do you think of the name of the Wanderer? Should he be the Driver, the Drifter? Let me know what you think is, is this character's, this persona's name should be in the comments below. But anyways, let's end this. As you take a sigh, and as a Bigfoot breaks down on the side of the road, you finally leave the Fright Way for now. But remember... The Fright Way will show up when you least expect it. <laughs>